Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. On this channel, we talk about men's fragrance content and we talk about unisex fragrances as well. Top 10 lists, full and depth reviews, first impressions, and giveaway announcements as well. So if you're new here and you like fragrance related content, don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below. Like the video if you like this type of content and click the bell icon so you don't miss any future fragrance uploads and giveaway announcements on my channel as well. Today we're talking about a new fragrance from House of Brioni. So they have three fragrances out. This is the third fragrance. Now the first two um, were the EDP, and then it was the EDP Intense. I never smelled the EDP Intense. I smelled the original one. I really did like that one. It felt like it was more my style, kind of gentleman type of fragrance. Would think something like a man wearing a suit and tie, Sunday best. It's really nice. A new brand I never heard about, but I know they do suits and clothing. I'll leave a link down below to their website. Check it out. I bought this eight mil sample at perfume.com. I'll leave a link down below. Um, the owner of the company is actually Crystal Rocks Frags. I'll leave her YouTube channel up here on the screen and I'll leave the website down below. So yeah, it's a cool little travel atomizer sprayer. Has the name of the fragrance, which I'll zoom in and show you in a moment. So this is an eight mil, it cost me about $26.50. There is a promotion running right now. I'll leave the link down below. You save 12% off if you buy any fragrance on the website. Put it in promo code, it is KRF12. You save 12% off your whole order. I get no kickback. This is something that Crystal's doing on the website, which is awesome. And she told me I should tell my subscribers to try new fragrances out. There's niche and designer. And you can buy a two mil all up to a 30 mil. Try a fragrance out before committing to a full bottle because you may not even like the fragrance or it may not smell good on your skin or it may not perform. Okay, Brioni, this is the new Brioni, and this is called um, Eclat. So this fragrance here came out in 2022. It is a new, brand new release. I'll pop a picture of it on the screen here. You can see it, all clear bottle, frosted bottle. It looks amazing. The full bottle is gonna run you $125 for a 100 ml bottle. Only comes in one size. I'll leave links down below if you'd like to purchase the bottle as well. The note breakdown. So we have grapefruit, obanum, pink pepper on the top, the mid, patchouli and rose, roxin, sandalwood and musk. So I wore this yesterday to work. I'll let you know how I feel about it. I'll spray it on the test strip first. Sprayers are great. Okay, this fragrance opens up. You definitely get some of that grapefruit in the opening of the fragrance. Pick up some pink pepper, a little bit of spice in the fragrance as well. Pick up this in Broxton in the background feel of the fragrance. I would say it kind of has that molecule one kind of DNA where you may not smell it after a little bit being on your skin, maybe a 15, 20 minutes, but people around you are gonna smell the scent. It's one of those scents that you might go nose blind to it, so keep that in mind. It might project very well in the opening for you, but then it might calm down after like half an hour to an hour, and you may not smell it. People around you will catch whiffs of it, or you start walking, you start catching whiffs from each side of your ear, like, oh wow, I can smell the fragrance. It's one of those type of fragrances that you may not pick it up the whole amount of time it's on your skin. The middle of the fragrance, you definitely do pick up um, that rose in the fragrance as well as the patchouli. I don't, I wouldn't say it leans as a feminine fragrance, like 100%. I feel like a man could wear it as well as a female. It's marketed as a men's fragrance, but honestly guys, ladies and gentlemen, we make it pull this fragrance off as well. It's one of those fragrances that I feel like it could be a unisex based fragrance, even though they market it as a male fragrance. At the end of the day, if you like the fragrance, woman or man, just wear the fragrance. It doesn't really matter. As long as you love the way you smell and you have the money to buy it, definitely buy it. When you get to the dry on the fragrance, you definitely still pick up that embroxion feel throughout the life of the fragrance. And you do pick up some sandal butter, but I get a lot of musk um, in the dry on the fragrance, where I feel like that's where it leans more towards a masculine scent. Um, on my skin. Now when I spray it on my skin, which is funny, I'll spray a little bit on my skin here. It's funny, when I wear this fragrance, I up a minty, feel, like a peppermint feel in the fragrance, but peppermint's not listed as, no, not even geranium is. It's just weird on my skin, I get a peppermint kind of minty feel, which is weird, but I do enjoy the fragrance for that. I would say the first five to 10 minutes, I get this uh, minty peppermint feel in the fragrance and then it goes right away. Like, I feel like Maybe they had dream in this fragrance or eucalyptus, but like it's just a tad bit in there and then it goes right away and you pick up the grapefruit, the old banum in the fragrance. This is a fragrance that I feel like is a casual scent. I don't know if I would want to dress this fragrance up just because I feel like it doesn't have that depth in the fragrance because I wore it yesterday to work. I did about, I want to say six sprays and projection was like good. I would say for like the first 
maybe 45 minutes to an hour. Um, I could catch whiffs of it. After that, I really couldn't really smell it anymore off me. I had to dig my nose in to smell it, but I could still smell the fragrance. I just had to dig my nose in to smell it for, I would say another five, maybe six hours. And it became closer and closer to the skin after hour after hour. So seasons and occasions, I feel like this is something that I could see myself wearing in the spring and summer as a warmer uh, fragrance, but you could wear it in the fall and winter if you want. If you're indoors, you could definitely pull this off. Radiance and final thoughts. So for me personally, I'm gonna give this a six out of 10. It's a little above average. Kelly gave it a six, she said it was okay. She said it did smell unique, it smelled different than what's out in the marketing designer game, but she said um, it wasn't nothing to write home about, and she said it wasn't nothing amazing or special to her, but it did smell different, which is a good thing. At the end of the day, I think it's an okay release from the house. I love their previous first version, the EDP that came out. Brioni definitely checked that one out. Um, I definitely need to try out the Intense as well, but this one here is okay. I like the frosted uh, bottle all white and a black cap, I think it's amazing. I think the fragrance that you might have to wear a few times from a sample, it might grow on you or you may not like the fragrance at all. So definitely, I highly suggest you getting a sample and trying it out. But if you have the other two and you wanna collect the brand, by all means, go ahead and buy it. But this video here is just giving you an example of how I feel about the fragrance. It's okay, but I prefer the original at the end of the day. Thank you for watching another fragrance video. If you tried this new fragrance, Brioni, this is the EDP or Clout, Leave a comment down below. Do you like it, love it, or hate it? If you guys like this type of fragrance content, please show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Like the video, click the bell icon so you don't miss any future fragrance content and giveaways as well. And I'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I'm almost there. I'm at like 9,000 some change. So come on guys, let's get me there. With all your support, I do appreciate it. Be safe everyone. I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.